Paris Manhattan is the opening night gala of the UK Jewish Film Festival and it features a cameo by none other than Woody Allen himself. It's the story of Alice, an unlucky in love pharmacist who has imagined conversations with Alan about all his favourite topics. So that will be death, Swedish movies, Cole Porter and Freud. Sydney Outsider caught up with writer-director Sophie Lelouch ahead of the film's UK festival premiere. Sophie Lelouch, welcome to the UK Jewish Film Festival and congratulations on having your film selected as the opening night gala. Thanks. It must feel especially great being that this is your first film. Yes, I'm very excited, very proud and uh, uh, I was a little surprised to, uh, uh, to uh, learn the, that Paris Manhattan uh, uh, made the opening. Well, a pleasant surprise, I'm sure. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the lead character in your film, she saw her first Woody Allen at 15, and um, it seems like it's a bit of a religious experience for her. Uh, was it the same for you when you saw your first Woody Allen? I, yes, it was Anna and her sisters was my first Woody Allen, and, uh, and I was 15 years old, exactly uh, as Al Alice. It's, it was one of autobiographic uh, things, but it was not an autobiographic movie. Uh, it's a personal movie, but uh, I remember uh, when I was 15 years old, when uh, uh, the movie uh, Anna and her sister finished. Uh, yes, it, it was an experience. It, it was very, uh, you know, I, I say, wow, some people are living like that. Um, and it opens to me a lot of words, uh, not uh, only movies, because uh, when you see uh, Hannah and her sister, uh, you can uh, hear a lot uh, jazz music, and I didn't know nothing about uh, jazz music, so uh, say, what this kind of music? Uh, he was talking about uh, Russian literature, and I say I, I don't, I never read r Russian literature. Um, he was talking about uh, uh, some poet. Uh, so there was uh, so many words, uh, new words, opens to me. And so I say, well, who is this Woody Allen? I didn't, <laughs> why I didn't meet him before my 15 years old? It's exactly the same for both of us, actually. Um, you know, Anton Chekhov is my favorite writer because of Woody Allen. Django Reinhardt because of Woody Allen. Yes. So you're quite right. I think it is an experience shared by many people who are fans I'm of I'm sure, work. I'm sure, because I think he is, um, is a lover. So he's so passionate that this passion, uh, you can feel it. So you want to discover, uh, because the characters of Woody Allen uh, in the movie um, is nervous, is passionate, is integral. So you feel uh, like that, you say, wow, uh, I, I want to discover this kind of uh, things. And when I was watching her, watching the film in the cinema, we, we see her go to the cinema um, to, to watch Woody Allen, and of course it's subtitled. And if you watched your first Woody at 15, yes. um, I don't know how your English was back then, but I was thinking to myself that it must have affected the experience in a really intricate, because you're reading the film, so yes, therefore the experience course. and the humour it must but change for you over the years as your English has gotten better. And you know, my English is not good. So even now, uh, I read. I, I'm not, uh, my English is not fluent enough to don't have the caption. It, I have to read. So I, I don't know. It's, you know, even the voice of Woody Allen is like music. So you, uh, you recognize the music and it doesn't care if you read it. And for his fans, the comedy is obviously the biggest draw, but when you were watching these films, when you started to become a fan yourself of Woody Allen, when yeah. did the, 
the Jewish themes of his work uh, begin to resonate with you? Was there a particular film uh, where you started thinking about this, you know, the Jewish heritage and the culture? Oh, I think you, you can find reference uh, maybe in all his movies. So uh, I'm, you know, it's it's strange because I'm not um, I'm not from uh, I'm, I'm Jewish, but from uh, uh, North Africa, and it's very different from uh, East yeah. uh, uh, Poland and. Uh, uh, Romania and it's very different and it was very strange because when uh, I, I was uh, lo looking movies of Woody Allen uh, it was like my grandmother my aunt it's the same and it's not the same at all because uh, it's not the same culture but there is something that I recognize the the link uh, with you know I love the um, it's a short movie of Woody Allen, uh, Complex of a Deep. Oh yes, in New York Stories. Yes, in New York Stories. And I think he's one who is talking the more of the culture, Jewish culture. Now, amazingly, you got the great man himself to cameo in your film. So, you know, how, how did this come about? Um, you know, I need to, uh, I need this cameo for the movie because I didn't know if the script uh, was good enough to become a movie, and uh, and uh, I think if Woody Allen uh, told me, uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm very busy, I can't. Uh, for me, it was like uh, forget the movie; it's not good enough. So it was important for me to have uh, the approval of Woody Allen. And was it a very tight schedule for you, the, the window of time that you had to work with Woody? Was he there for, you know, one day, two days? No, it's one hour. One hour? Yes. And, and what about the voiceover then? Did he record this yes. also in yes. the hotel? No, no, no. He recorded it in New York and uh, it was so nice because um, when uh, we shot the movie, uh, I didn't... You know, I, I didn't think about the voice because um, we thought uh, that we can take the voice of the movie, but it was, uh, it was very dirty. Uh, yeah, the sound quality yes, is not good enough. Yes, so it, it was impossible to use. So uh, <laughs> I asked him, uh, I have one more thing to ask you uh, if you can record it. Okay, and uh, it was very, very nice. And can you talk about writing in the screenplay? You were writing in the voice of Woody Allen um, for his parts. Talk about the challenge of that. And did he have any suggestions for you and say, no. I wouldn't say it like that? No, no. And I think, uh, he, he, you know it's Woody Allen, so when he, he reads the when he read the script, sure, he, he can s see all the the week of the script, but I think uh, he is an artist, and for him it was important that I make my movie, and uh, because it's not important this movie, the, for him uh, uh, he told me uh, you have to make the second movie and the third movie and so he, for me it was like wow uh, it's not one movie and uh, you know he make a movie w one a year and uh, sometimes he said oh no this movie is not good but it doesn't matter because you learn you learn you learn and sometimes you make a great movie but so no, no, uh, no advice, just, uh, okay, it's great, lovely, uh, nice. Uh. And can you tell us about the casting of the lead actress, you know, because she's like a Woody Allen character. You know, yes. She's very depressed yeah. and lost in love. <laughs> and I thought she played that brilliantly, but because she's so beautiful, yes. I had a hard time believing, you know, would this woman really struggle? 
with finding somebody because she's so gorgeous. Yes, but it's interesting because um, I, for me it was uh, very important that I'm sure there is no link between uh, the fact you are gorgeous and the fact you are, uh, you are, can have a, a, a faci- uh, easily easy, uh, how to say, like that neurosis all the men and are anxiety. Cre- yes, there is no link. You see, when uh, there is a lot of example as Marine Monroe or very gorgeous and they are so unhappy with men and uh, it's different there is i think confident it's different from gorgeous or from things like that and when uh, alice taglioni uh, read the script uh, she loved it because she said it's exactly what i feel when i was 18 20 and it's very difficult to understand because she's very beautiful and you know she f- feel very tall and how now to d- how to work she was not confident that's all and you can be the most beautiful woman in the world if you're not confident you feel bad and finally let's imagine you're on a desert island and yeah. you have five Woody Allen films yeah for the rest of your life, which yeah. five are you taking with you? Um, Purple Rose of Care, um, Manhattan, Anio, Alice, and uh, Midnight in Paris. Oh, Alice is an interesting choice. Yes. One of the lesser known films. And you also like anything else we were talking before yes, the interview. Yes, but you if know, I have only saying? five, yeah. if you tell me ten, <laughs> I, I make anything else inside. But uh, and even Zelig and you know there is so much Woody Allen I love, but I think the five I uh, I love the more it's and I, I always always uh, see it. Uh, there is a poetry inside Rose Proper of Care, inside Alice, inside Midnight in Paris. It's like out of the time, and I love the the idea that for him uh, you can go like that you can uh, th- there is no past no present no future this is the same and uh, in the poetry you can f- find this idea of uh, uh, time doesn't exist well Sophie Lelouch it's been a pleasure talking to you I just saw the film this morning and I can tell you that you've certainly done Mr. Allen very proud indeed Thank Enjoy you. your opening night tonight. Thank you very much.